In this video, we are going to do the first corollary to the previous theorem about angles standing on the same arc of a circle. Here we have a quadrilateral, that is a four-sided figure, but it is inscribed in a circle. So this type of quadrilateral is called a cyclic quadrilateral. Of course, many other types of quadrilaterals aren't. We could have a quadrilateral that looks like this. It's got four sides, but we cannot inscribe it in a circle. So this quadrilateral is not a cyclic quadrilateral. Now angles A and B form a pair of opposite angles of this cyclic quadrilateral. It is a fact that opposite angles sum to 180 degrees. So as long as we're dealing with a cyclic quadrilateral, A plus B is always 180 degrees. Now what about the other pair of opposite angles? Well, I'll call this angle here X and I'll call this one Y. Now the four angles of any quadrilateral sum to 360 degrees because we can divide a quadrilateral into two triangles. So the three angles in this triangle sum to 180 degrees and the three angles in this triangle here also sum to 180 degrees. So if we put the angles of both of these triangles together, we get the four angles in the quadrilateral. So we get them summing to 180 plus 180 or 360 degrees. So if A plus B sum to 180 degrees, which is what the theorem says, then 180 plus X plus Y equals 360. So X plus Y must also sum to 180. So we only have to consider one pair of opposite angles in the proof the other pair automatically sum to 180. To prove that A plus B equals 180 degrees, we join the other corners of the cyclic quadrilateral to the centre of the circle. Then we apply the previous theorem from the previous video. We see that both angles A and C stand on the same arc. They stand on this arc here. So the angle at the centre, which is C, must be twice the angle at the circle, which is A. C equals 2A. Similarly, we consider this other arc, and we see that angle D stands on it. So, um, angle D must be twice the angle at the circle, standing on, on this arc here, going all in the other direction. So, angle D equals twice angle B. And, of course, we can move these around. We could make D less than 180 degrees. It can either be less than 180 degrees or more than 180 degrees, it doesn't matter. D is always twice B. And C is always twice A. But the thing about angle C and D is that they add to 360 degrees, because we have a full circle formed here. And if C plus D is 360 degrees, then since C is equal to 2A and D is equal to 2B, we have that 2A plus 2B equals 360 degrees. We can divide all of this equation by 2 and we get the result we want. A plus B equals 180 degrees. Here's the converse of the cyclic quadrilateral theorem. If the opposite angles of a quadrilateral sum to 180 degrees, as they do for this particular quadrilateral, A plus B equals 180 degrees, then we can conclude that this quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral. So we can circumscribe a circle about this quadrilateral. Notice that we don't have to look at the other pair of opposite angles. If A plus B equals 180, then the other pair must sum to 180 also, since the four angles in any quadrilateral sum to 360 degrees. So we only have to look to one pair. If one pair of them sum to 180, then it must be a cyclic quadrilateral. So if I just update some of these values, this is set up so that A plus B is always 180 degrees. We can circumscribe a circle about this quadrilateral. Now, I won't prove this theorem here, I might prove it in another video.